hello. Long time no see, or at least I feel like that. Because I didn't really know what videos to make and then I filmed a bookshelf tour but that was really long and I didn't feel like editing it so here I am with a book review of the book Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood. And if you have seen my semester 2.2 haul slash TBR then you'll have seen this book because I had to read this this semester for my class nation and identity module and I really 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 liked it so I thought let's talk about it oh, and excuse me if I'm doing any coughy things because I've got a bit of a cold and I just keep coughing and it's really annoying all right so Oryx and Craig um the blurb doesn't give away too much it's, it's really vague it's like pigs cannot fly but they are altered and Jimmy now calls himself snowman and Oryx or her voice teasingly haunts him and ch children of Craig are his responsibility and you're just like what are you talking about <laughs> and honestly for the most part for the well, not the most part, but especially at the beginning, I still felt like, what is going on? Um, so, what Oryx and Craig is about. Uh, you could say it's a sci-fi book, but Miss Atwood herself prefers to call it speculative fiction. And um, that is because what happens in this dystopia is based on things that could actually be achieved. And everything that would be needed for it is already invented or something. So basically, Jimmy lives in uh, this, I think it's America, and it's a dystopian world, so to say. <clears throat> so compared to how we live now, it's very futuristic, and like they have altered pigs so that they can use, um, their organs for human organ transplants and then there is this bit where someone invents it's hardly an animal anymore basically a chicken but just so produces tons of chicken breasts so um, it's easier to get that for food and it's cheaper and there's more but then something happens and as a reader you don't know what has happened and Jimmy has become snowman and the narrative in the book switches between snowman which is what Jimmy calls himself um, after the event <clears throat> and Jimmy and he is Jimmy when he looks back on what his childhood was like and his adolescence and his uh, early adult years and I think Atwood has done a wonderful job crafting um, this book and she slowly reveals things as she, as she goes along and I I think the first 60 pages are perhaps a bit me it, it took a bit more effort to read but after that I just kept reading and I kept wanting to read which is great news because I usually don't have that with books for university and <clears throat> You just keep wanting to find out what has happened because you know it must have been something huge and you have some suspicions but nothing is confirmed until like uh, around page 380 I think. Yeah, you don't really know entirely what has happened until page 380 and <clears throat> in some cases that could be really boring, but Atwood tells his story so beautifully that it, it isn't. It just isn't. <laughs> and I was shocked when I read what happened. I mean, I, I had some ideas of what could have happened, but then I read it and... Oh my heart. <laughs> it was just... Woo, that, that was... A climactic point and yeah during the read you're just full of questions and slowly and slowly you find out more and it's 
wonderful. So the only things that I would say are like negatives are the fact that, that it, it does slow, start slow and in the present tense there isn't a whole lot of stuff going on uh, but that's because Snowman is reflecting so much on what has happened and I didn't mind that but I know that that is not everyone's cup of tea because a lot of what happens happens internally and I understand that that, that some people might not, not find that interesting but I have made lots of highlights, I don't know whether you can see that, of things that I liked or that I thought was suspicious or anything. And she has also come up with these really strange names that make sense, uh, but they are spelt so weirdly. Um, like for all the corporations and companies that are within the <clears throat> this uh, America. And I found what, what's interesting is that it seems to be only the US that is that far advanced because um, you get like these tiny glimpses into uh, lives in different countries but they seem to be so different from what's happening in the US or at least that's how I read it <laughs> I don't know but yes I really enjoyed this book I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars and you should read it and I'll try to I think during the summer I'll try to read the sequels because it's a trilogy but apparently the sequels are written from different perspectives and they're not really sequels so I don't know um, but yeah that were my thoughts on Oryx and Creek I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you again very soon goodbye <laughs>